2,748 divided by 24. Our word question is, a furniture company makes 2,748 chairs. There are 24 families that bought the chairs. How many chairs does each family get? So first, our question tells us that we have 2,748 chairs. That number is our larger number, which goes over here as our dividend. The dividend is the larger number, which is the number you will be dividing by your divisor. And here our dividend is 2,748. We'll divide our dividend by our divisor. Our divisor in this case is 24, and 24 families is our unit, and that's our divisor because it's a smaller number and it tells us there are 24 families that bought chairs and they make 2,748 chairs. So we're sharing our larger amount of chairs into groups of 24 families. Last, it says how many chairs does each family get? And that question, our answer, will be our quotient. The quotient is also known as the answer to the division problem. And our quotient, we don't know until we do the math of the division problem. Make sense of the problem. So here, altogether, we have 24 families which in our question, it told us we have 24 families that each ordered chairs. So we have a total of 2,748 chairs. So here in your picture, we're going to give out chairs to each family member to represent it. So first, we have our first chair that we will give to our first family. So this family now has one chair. Next, we'll give our second chair to our second family. This family has one chair, but together, that is two chairs. And we can put our numbers down here, two chairs, given out total, and we're supposed to give out 2,748. So we have to give out more chairs We'll give out another, and that's three. Another, and that's four. Another, and that's five. So each of these families only has one chair, and we only have five chairs total. So since we have five chairs total, we still have way more to go until we get to 2,700. 48 chairs. So first, we need to give out chairs to every single family, all of these, and then we'll have 24 chairs. So we need to keep giving out more and more chairs to all of these families until we've given out 2,748. So our problem is asking us how many chairs will each family, and this is one family have when we've given out all of the 2,748 chairs. This is an example of a sharing problem because all of these families have chairs that we've been sharing to them and we give each of them chairs until we get our number. And it's also sharing because we're asking how many does each family have? So in each family, how many chairs are there? Not how many families are there total because we have that information. Solve. Now that we've made sense of our problem, I set up over here the way I'm going to in partial quotients, divide, and get my answer. So first, I need to try to figure out how many times 24 goes into 2,748, and I can estimate. I'm going to try 100, since it's an easy number to work with, and I will get 
2,400. 2,400 is large enough, so I'll put it below, and I'll put 100 on top because that's the number that I multiplied 24 by, and I'll subtract now. 8 minus 0 is 8, 4 minus 0 is 4, 7 minus 3, 4 is 3, and 2 minus 2 is 0, so I have 348. Next, since 10 is an easy number to work with, since it ends in 0, I'm going to do 24 times 10, and I'll get 240. 240 is also large enough, so I'll put my 240 underneath, and I'll put 10 on top because that's the number I multiplied. First, I'll do 8 minus 0 is 8, 4 minus 4 is 0, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So I get my answer 108. But I can't stop there as my remainder because that's too big. Because 24 can go into 108 more times. So first, I'm going to try 24 times 4 because I know that 2 times 4 is 8 which, if you add the end digit, that would be about 80, which is close to 108. So, I'm going to try doing 24 times 4, and 24 times 4, first I do 4 times 4 is 16, and I have to carry my 6. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, which is 96, and when you subtract 108, from 96, then you get your answer, which has a remainder of 12. So when you subtract these two numbers, you get 12 left over, but 24 can't go into 12. And since I multiplied four times, I'll put my four on the top. When you add those, it's 114. So my answer is 114. But then I need to figure out what to do with my 12 on the bottom. And since this 12 is left over, I'm going to make my 12 the remainder, and I'll have 12 leftover families. Because I can't put 12, in, I can't put 24 into 12 any more times since 12 is lower than 24. Last, we can answer our question now that we've done the division. And there are 114 chairs for each family member with 12 chairs left over. And so our official answer is 14 remainder 12.